spotted a moose trotting along Highway 20 in Sherman Pass. You don't see those too often. Washdot says one of its crew saw it yesterday and referencing Rocky and Bullwinkle said, quote, while they didn't spot a flying squirrel accompanying the moose, they did see about 20 elk nearby. So yeah, <laughs> be careful. Speaking of passes, live look up at I-90. You can see there Snoqualmie and looks, uh, it's hard to make out whether there's actually snow on the road. Mm -hmm. But uh, Craig, sounds like it's gonna start falling in a few hours. It really is, yeah, right now it's falling as rain and that's gonna switch over quickly as those snowfall levels drop. I love that shot you sent, uh, showed us there, Greg. Jessica, good evening, good evening, everyone at home. We've got uh, some more scattered showers, not a lot. Uh, most of the moisture's moved through, but we have a few more showers in the forecast for you. The snow though, that's a whole nother story. Let's get started with temperatures. Low 40s tonight, we will drop to to see uh, lots of upper 40s overnight. We've got some scattered showers you can see on the radar, but I talked about this earlier. The convergent zone is set up uh, now just south of Seattle, it extends all the way over to North Bend, uh, Renton, Issaquah. You can see some of the heavier rain closer to Carnation. Then once you get up above, uh, just above 3,500 feet or so, turning to or starting to turn to snow. It's a rain snow mix close to Snoqualmie and watching that closely because I think it may actually switch over a little sooner than I was thinking. It's already switched over to snow Stevens Pass and over to White Pass. We have some snow as well. Off in the distance, you see a few of those spotty showers. Notice how they're kind of uh, like popcorn, almost piecemeal out there that is swinging around coming in. And with that unsettled energy, we have the chance for a few isolated thunderstorms near the coast this evening through tomorrow morning. So you may actually hear the thunder and maybe get a some light or some small hail embedded with those storms. If they do develop, they look like they probably could tonight. A high surf advisory along the coast for swells 18 to 22 feet tonight through tomorrow night. And then the winter weather advisory is also in place for up to 13 inches of fresh snow total. Total, that's including everything that fell today and everything that will fall tonight through tomorrow morning. And we'll see that expire at about 4 o'clock tomorrow across the eastern side of the Cascades. So for the mountains tomorrow, new snowfall totals for especially during the morning hours before noon about six to or sorry two to six inches of fresh snow I say let it snow let it snow and then we've got a break as we go into Thursday snowfall levels starting off at 2,500 feet going up to about 3,000 feet by the time we get to the afternoon but most most of the moisture at that point will be gone hey let's pause a moment with Craig Tana Cooper and Benny from left to right ready for the holidays look at their little head pieces I love them so sweet crazy collie kids is what Heidi Webster calls them send me your pictures I'd love to see them email them to me it's probably best right now a lot of the hashtags aren't working since the election otherwise you could use hashtag k5 pets scattered showers at times we'll have some sun breaks a mostly cloudy day rainfall totals will not amount to much a tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain that should do it here's future cast notice a few showers in the morning and then the rain continues or the snow continues, but we do get a break for Thanksgiving. Here's your seven day forecast. Jessica and Greg, we've got some sun breaks by the afternoon and a little bit of rain as we go into Saturday morning. Love those sun breaks. Also love the trio of dogs. They're very awesome? festive. <laughs> so cute. I like those little things in their heads. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. You got it.